Greetings, human beings of the internet. My name is Joe and welcome back to another vloggy vloggy talky talky. This is going to be another one of those vlogs where I kind of discuss the channel. There has been a lot of these vlogs this year as I've been trying to kind of figure out in 2016 what I want to do with this channel. I've been really happy with the variety and the interesting stuff I have been putting out on this channel, but I've kind of got to a stage where I have too many ongoing series on this channel at once, especially for the amount I upload. I only get out like one video a day and even now I'm not consistently getting out seven videos uh, a week because my schedule is still a little bit off. I'm doing stuff in the summer, etc. So I just have too much stuff on the channel to get out on a consistent basis and I feel like people who are a fan of specific series are not getting the stuff that they want very frequently and I just have to kind of figure out what stuff I want to keep and what stuff I don't want to keep and I kind of feel like in my pursuit to make this channel really interesting and experimental and do different weird things I've just kind of created too many different weird things. Uh, I feel like the channel's got a little bit messy and I want to focus it more. I really feel like a channel's focus kind of uh, lets people know what they're getting into. When new people come to the channel, it kind of makes it clearer for them what channel they are subscribing to. And it just makes it a little bit more easy to follow. And you're not sitting in your subscription box hoping that Joe is uploading this video that you like. And no, no, he's uploading this shitty series I don't enjoy. I could just do this in my spare time, but I really care about what series you guys are enjoying. Uh, which series you wouldn't really miss and I want your opinion on the matter really um, Maybe you guys don't realize how many series I have ongoing. I am gonna list them out Actually, I need to move the camera So I've moved the camera because I'm gonna use this space here to put up a list of ongoing series that are currently on this channel So I've got the list over here on my computer. I'm gonna list it out. I have Stardew Valley, Hitman, Goat Simulator, The Amazing Frog, Unlucky Dip, Fallout 4 Mods, Paint the Town Red, Humble Monthly, Asky Asky, Let's Browse, Yonder Ear Simulator, Fish, Feed and Grow, Subnautica, Slime Rancher, Challenge Videos, Let's Drunk Play, After Every Fail, and obviously I just do one-off videos on games I think are worth a try or I want to show you guys. That's a lot of series. Look at them. That's a lot of series, guys. A lot of them. That is 18 series that are currently ongoing on this channel and come back every now and then. Obviously, some of them are more frequent than others. So that's 18 ongoing series, and I make one video a day at most. Uh, so it would take around a month to get through this list because, obviously, sometimes I miss a day. Sometimes there's multiple episodes in these mini-series. It's just too many. It really is too many. So in this vlog, I'm going to be making an effort to cut down some of these series. Some of these series are going to end today in this vlog probably forever. It's kind of a big decision. Well, to some people, it might not be a big decision, but to me, it is. I feel like I have quite a genuine problem when it comes to leaving things unfinished. Maybe I have a minor case of OCD. I don't know. But ever since I was young, I've had a very difficult time leaving things unfinished. Even when it came to books, movie series, game series, and games, I just found it very difficult to not see things things through to the end even if I wasn't enjoying them I would just push through even if I wasn't having fun which is not a good habit to have I remember when I was younger I used to be really obsessed with achievement points uh, they are these kind of random numbers uh, you get for doing tasks on Xbox games and there was 1,000 per game and I used to be super obsessive about getting to the 1,000 and finishing all the achievements and it was making me not enjoy the video game I was playing and I've had a really hard time kind of letting go of series that I've started on YouTube because I know that there's more content to do and I feel like I haven't finished the series if that makes sense even though some of the games I play never end like some Nordic is a good example of a game where I covered pretty much everything but every time there's an update and they bring out like one little tool I'm like oh haven't done a video of that tool yet or this tiny upgrade in the ship uh, I think I should dive in and figure out how to do it so I feel like I'm holding on to these series and I just kind of need your help just letting some of them go to make room for new interesting content on this channel. I really want for you guys to get the content that you want on a frequent basis and I just want to get through series quicker so I can get newer content onto the channel without worrying about if I don't have time to do this or this because at the moment I have a few series I really want to bring out. I really want to do a series on No Man's Sky. I want to bring back The Sims 4 and I just don't have room for it. So we are going to bring back the list uh, over here on the... Uh, God, I can't do this in the camera. So we're going to bring back the list over here and we're going to go through it and I'm going to choose which ones I'm going to get rid of and which ones I'm going to keep and also I'm going to have like a maybe pile. I think I will do in colours. I will do green as keep, 
yellow as maybe and red as just dead series that I'm not doing anymore. So to start off the purge, I am going to be ending all of my early access based series. That is Yandere Simulator, Amazing Frog, Slime Rancher and Subnautica. These games are played by everyone. There's nothing really unique I can do in these games that you guys haven't seen on a different YouTube channel. So I don't really feel like I would be doing anything unique by pushing on with these series. Also, I feel like I've covered most of what these games have to offer. And right now I am just waiting for the game to be updated. And then I'm just playing like a, such a small amount of content per update. And just trying to make a funny video out of it. And it's kind of, it's almost a little bit stressful. Like a Yandere update will come out and it will just be a buzzsaw. And that, that's it, that's the whole update. And I'm like, okay, this game's popular. It gets a lot of views. How do I make a 12 minute video out of a buzzsaw? And I just don't think it's the way I want to do videos anymore. I don't want to make videos based on really minute updates. Um, if these games ever got very, very large updates, then I would probably revisit them. I remember on the Ouya version of the Amazing Frog, the original Amazing Frog, you could actually go to the moon. So say there was an update for the Amazing Frog where they put the moon into the game. I would probably go check that out for one episode. But I just don't want to do these videos anymore where I go into the Amazing Frog and I look for a room full of ants. And that's the video. So I would come back to the Amazing Frog and yonder it if there were some really substantial updates in the game. Subnautica, the updates are kind of messing with my old save file. They don't really work with my save file because it's really outdated. The game tries to update your save file. It's hard to describe, but once the map has been laid out for you, whenever the developer wants to change a section of the map, you don't get that if your map has already been made in an old save file. So I would have to start a new game in Subnautica to get all the brand new stuff and to have the new world. I was like 20 hours in, I really can't be bothered. I did a lot of Subnautica content. I did like 15, 16 episodes. It's a good series. I really like it and I'm happy to say it's finished. When it comes to Slime Rancher, I just don't think the new updates are that interesting. You just get a few new slimes and then you put them in pens and it's over. I played Slime Rancher for a few episodes. I had fun. I, I think I'm over it. So those four series I am calling finished unless something substantial and very significant happens in those games. I feel like when Yandere Simulator is finally finished, I would definitely check out the final product to see how it is turned out. The next thing I'm going to get onto is Let's Browse. Now I know people like Let's Browse, but the problem with Let's Browse is it doesn't really flow with the rest of my content. It has nothing to do with gaming and this is a gaming channel and in the past, I made a series on Amigo, on Amigo Funny Moments and Meeting Strangers, and it did very well. It was very successful, and it kind of upset the balance of my channel, where I had a lot of people subscribed for stuff I didn't want to make anymore. And while it doesn't look like Let's Browse is going to be like a breakout series that's going to get me thousands of new subscribers, I really feel like I should focus my channel, and I feel like I might have to end Let's Browse just because it has nothing to do with gaming. Even though I think Let's Browse is a fun idea and I have enjoyed making them, I think it should probably remain as like a very small mini series. I don't want to push it to become a focus of this channel. I don't want subscribers to be confused about what they're coming into because if people find Let's Browse and they subscribe for it, they might not be interested in gaming content at all. And I will just be getting more dead subscribers and I don't need more of them. Trust me, I have a lot already. I don't need more. But since you guys like Let's Browse, I am going to be moving Let's Browse into the maybe pile because I want to get your guys' opinion on it first. Okay, let's move on to a few definite keeps. Stardew Valley. I love Stardew Valley. The people who watch Stardew Valley love Stardew Valley. So Stardew Valley is not going anywhere. I will be keeping Hitman because I only want to do another video on each of the new upcoming maps. And I think there is going to be three more and each episode of hitman only comes out once every few months so hitman shouldn't prove too much of a problem when it comes to having too much stuff on the channel so i'm gonna put that in the keep list and goat simulator is definitely a keep it is one of the foundations of this channel it is my longest ongoing uh, game series based on one specific game and i love making goat simulator content i love that you guys like the content and i'm gonna keep it going for as long as possible all right this one might be a controversial one, and I want to get your guys' opinion on this one. But I'm going to be moving Unlucky Dip into the maybe pile. And the reason I am moving Unlucky Dip into the maybe pile was just because, even though I think it's one of the best ideas I've ever come up with on YouTube, I think it's one of the most unique things this channel has, I just am starting to feel like it's getting a bit samey. Uh, every game we get is terrible. 
and I feel like that's the way it's going to go because all these websites are basically taking leftover keys that people don't want from Steam sales, crappy games that people don't want, and they're reselling them for like a dollar at a time because no one else is going to buy them anyway. And I don't know how long I can keep a series of me playing terrible games interesting for. I can see a pretty substantial drop in the views of um, Unlucky Dip. When the show started, it was getting like a thousand views. Now it's getting a couple hundred views. So I really feel like... Unlucky Dip is coming towards an end, and I've kind of done everything I can with the idea. I just don't think it's going to be interesting for that much longer. I do love Unlucky Dip, but I just feel like the idea is coming towards the end of its lifespan, so I'm putting it into the maybe pile. I'm going to be putting Fallout 4 mods into the maybe pile because I feel like Fallout 4 is getting pretty dated, and people don't really care about Fallout 4 anymore. There's plenty of other games I can mod if I want a modding series, so that's going in the maybe. Um, I'm going to put Paint the Town Red in the keep pile because I really, really enjoy Paint the Town Red. And every time an update for Paint the Town Red comes out, it's pretty substantial. It has a new mode coming out and every time there's an update, it's usually like a brand new map. And I can do one video on it and I just, it's clean and I like it. Unfortunately, I'm also going to be putting humble monthly giveaways into the maybe pile. Um, the series has kind of ended up being a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Um, I really wanted a Humble Monthly to be a way to give back to my loyal subscribers and to give you guys free games, but it's kind of attracted a lot of inactive people. I'm pretty sure some people aren't even subscribed who are entering into the giveaway. I don't even know if some people are getting their game codes, because when I give it to them, they say nothing. Or sometimes they just go, I got it, and they don't say thank you, and it's really frustrating. I want to give you guys, the people who support my channel, free games, and I just feel like other people are coming along and grabbing them, and I'm paying for them, and I don't know. It's just kind of getting on my nerves. So my plan for Humble Monthly is to end it after episode 12. So I will do it for one year, and then number 12 will be the final episode. And maybe, just maybe, I will finish Unlucky Dip at the same time. Asky Asky, my Q&A vlog series, I really want to keep going. I just haven't really got enough questions coming in frequently to bring it back to life again. If you guys have any questions for me, by the way, I will put the link to the last episode in this series in the description. And you guys can go and post your comments in the comment. No, wait, post your questions in the comments section for me to answer for the next episode of Asky Asky. But um, I don't want to kill it. I really, really want to keep it going. I'm just not getting enough questions at the moment from new people to keep it coming frequently. But Asky Asky is going in the keep pile. I just I just need a few more questions to uh, bring it back to life. Then there's two new series, Fish, Feed and Grow and Guts and Glory, which I'm going to keep on this channel for a little while. See how you guys enjoy it. And then I will decide if I want to keep them for a long time or just do like two or three episodes on it. But those are keep for now. I've left the big ones for last. I've left the challenge videos after every fail and let's drunk play right to the end because they are like the most interesting series I have started. But I don't think I have time for all of them. And I am going to be putting Let's Drunk Play into the maybe pile. And I'm going to be keeping Challenge and After Every Fail for now. I feel like my Challenge videos and After Every Fail are kind of similar in format. And I can kind of drop them in every now and then whenever I have a really interesting and good idea. I have a good idea for an After Every Fail coming soon, hopefully. But when it comes to Let's Drunk Play, it takes a long time to record Let's Drunk Play. It's quite expensive because of alcohol. Alcohol isn't that cheap. And it's hard to find games that are three to four hours in length, which is how long it takes me to have like 10, 12 shots. Also, the views on the series aren't that good, to be honest with you. It really doesn't stand out above the rest. So I don't know if it's really worth the effort and money to keep Let's Drunk Play going. So I'm putting that in the maybe pile. And I think I'm going to be keeping the challenge videos and after every fail for now. Also, I've never mentioned this in a vlog before, but I no longer do Oculus Rift videos just because there's nothing to play. Ever since the official retail Oculus Rift came out, uh, the DK2 doesn't work with pretty much anything new. So I'm going to be selling it on eBay and then hopefully selling up for the PSVR and the Vive or the Vive. I actually have no idea how to pronounce it. But I'm going to be saving up for those two because I do want to bring back virtual reality videos. But the DK2 is kind of bricked. So I need to buy a new system, but they're very, very expensive. So I need to start saving up for those. So this list here is my opinion on the current series on the channel. This is what I want to keep. This is what I think could probably go and what I just want dead. But I really want your guys' opinion on this list. I want to know if you think some things should go into the maybe pile that you don't really care about or some things should come out the maybe pile into the keep pile because you love them. It's really important to me what series you guys enjoy because series are something that populate the channel a lot. They come back time and time again and if no one likes them uh, then what's the point in having them on here? So I'd really really appreciate it if you guys guys left your opinions down in the comments below about what stuff you would love to see stay on the channel and what stuff you don't care if 
it goes. I'm also starting to consider to change the way I upload videos on this channel. I try to make sure that every series comes out at the same time. I basically go like, unlucky dip, let's browse, goat simulator, and then keep going down the list, but back to the top and repeating. So all these videos are like perfectly spread out. But obviously the problem was I had too many of them and things were coming out too slowly. So I was thinking about maybe changing to like a Game Grumps-esque upload schedule. So if you don't know how the Game Grumps upload their videos, they basically have a lot of series ongoing at the same time, but they run a few of them week by week. So Game Grumps will have a bunch of series going on at the same time. They have Sonic, they have Mario, they have Katamari, they have Pokemon, but they won't upload all four series in one week. They have one week, which is just Katamari and Sonic, and then the next week it will be Pokemon and whatever the other thing I said was. And I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I think having weeks focused on specific series and then another week focused on different series is quite an interesting way of doing it. But then I don't know if that would lead to people being inactive on my channel, like bi-weekly. Like imagine if I had two series going on one week and people didn't like it then people would like disappear for a week and then never come back probably. But people are definitely waiting more than one week for the series they like right now on my channel. So I think it's an idea. But I'm going to end this vlog here. It's probably been quite long, but I just really wanted to focus on cleaning up this channel and making it more focused, making the content come out more frequently. And I also wanted to get your guys' opinions on what you enjoy and what you want to stay and to come out on a more regular basis. I'm interested in seeing what you guys think, what your favorite series are, and hopefully this vlog will help the channel and it will lead to better things i don't know i'll keep you guys updated i've been doing a lot of vlogs this year based around my thoughts and ideas on the channel i don't know if anyone finds them interesting but i like i like making them because then in the future i can always go back to them and see how i was doing in 2016 but that's enough rambling if you like this video guys make sure you like it because if you don't like it when you like it then i don't know if you like it and apart from that thank you guys for watching and thank you for commenting please comment and i will see you next <laughs> I'm having the worst time of my life. Oh. What are you doing? Oh my god, my old laptop. Oh my god, that was like my old magic kit. It was like magic. God, I was like, what are you eating? Oh, it's so gross. It's I don't like to pee.